Hi, and welcome back to Drawing with Anna. Today we're going to be talking about achieving a drawing an object on a 2D surface that's coming out in 3D space. And when an object is coming out towards you, it's called foreshortening. If we have an object, this lovely shoe, uh, and we hold it flat like this, this is an object that is not foreshortened. There's nothing coming towards you. And this is a, a very clear way of drawing an object. It's almost a, like a, an idea of an engineering, how the object's showing the way it really is. But what's much more dynamic is when that object is coming towards you. When something is coming straight at you, that is what we call an object in foreshortening. And it's one of the challenges when we're working on a 2D surface to try to make an object, whether it's something inanimate or whether it's a body part, coming out at you, okay? How we're gonna start today is we're gonna take a shoe, uh, and I do recommend a woman's pump because it's a very sculptural form. We're gonna first draw it completely flat. Okay, and then we're gonna try a foreshortened view. So I'm gonna start out, and I'm using today just um, a pencil. I'm actually gonna use a charcoal pencil. And I have my little erasers in case I make a mistake. We all make mistakes. I'm gonna start out, and I'm going to draw this object on the paper, and I'm gonna hold it exactly underneath, okay? And I'm gonna try to do it exactly life-size. This is my underdrawing. And I'm trying to get the, break it down into to basic shapes, almost as if I'm doing the toe of the shoe. I'm looking at, I'm sighting the angle of the arch of the shoe, and then I'm getting the back part of the shoe, and I'm also thinking that of, of that almost as a, a round shape or even a triangular shape. And then I have the heel, that wedge of the heel, okay? I'm gonna put some shading in so that uh, we can see the shoe start to take shape. Okay, and then this shoe happens to have a buckle. I'm gonna draw that buckle a little bit. And then the toe of the shoe is coming out. And I'm actually just trying to make it exactly the same size. I'm looking at the angles here, looking at this curve from where I can see it. Okay, right now I've got light coming from this direction. And so I'm going to put a little bit of shading in just quickly. Not, it's sort of a modified crosshatch because this shoe is black. Just this is just a quick sketch and it's just fun not to worry too much about getting every little detail right, but just feeling and, and we can look at this negative space right here. This is the space underneath the shape of the shoe. Am I getting it correct? I think maybe I need to pull this heel out just a little bit. Sometimes I don't even worry about erasing. So we're just practicing right now. Okay. Let's see if I can get a, this a little bit more done. Oftentimes a drawing is very fun if we, if we don't finish it, if we leave it a little bit undone. Uh, and you can see that in old master drawings all the time. For example, if you look at some Rembrandt drawings or Leonardo drawings. And I think we're just about finished here. I'm gonna put this here. Let's see. Looks uncomfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> it is, this is not a very comfortable shoe. 